The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Are you ready? There's Maddox and Zariah and Leo and Royalty and Anton and Natalia and Emira and Kylan and Bernadette and Junior and London and Ellie and Amia and Deviani and Frederick and Nara and Leilani and Carter and Cyrus and Melanie the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job. All right, we're gonna play a game we have played before. It's called Jack in the Box. Do you remember playing this game before? For this game, we had to get down on the floor and we said, one, two, three, four. Can you jump up from the floor? Five, six, seven, eight. It is very hard to wait. And do you remember when I said, listen now and you will know, should I stay or should I go? And we played it last time with me whistling. And I think we've played it before with me clapping. Today, we're gonna play it with musical instruments, just like a real Jack in the Box. A real Jack in the Box, you turn the crank and it makes music and the Jack in the Box pops out of the box. So we're gonna play Jack in the Box today. I'm going to play a musical instrument. Are you ready to hear which one? I'm gonna play the bells. If you hear the bells, you're gonna pop up off the floor. If you don't hear the bells, if you hear a drum, you're not gonna pop up. If you hear rhythm sticks, you're not gonna pop up. If you hear the bells, you're gonna pop up. All right, are you ready? All right, listen carefully and get down on the floor so that you're ready to jump up. Okay. One, two, three, four. Can you jump up off the floor? Five, six, seven, eight. It is very hard to wait. Listen now and you will know. Should I stay or should I go? <gasps> pop! Did you pop up? I was playing the bells. Good job. All right, we're gonna do it again. Listen carefully, get in your box. One, two, three, four. Can you jump up off the floor? Five, six, seven, eight. It is very hard to wait. Listen now and you will know, should I stay or should I go? Stay down, stay in your box. I'm playing the drum, not the bells. One, two, three, four. Can you jump up off the floor? Five, six, seven, eight. It is very hard to wait. Listen now and you will know, should you stay or should you go? That's right, pop! I was playing the bells. All right, get back in your box. Ready? We're gonna do it again. One, two, three, four. Can you jump up off the floor? Five, six, seven, eight. It is very hard to wait. 
Listen now and you will know. Should you stay or should you go? What do you think? Rhythm sticks. You should still be in your box. That's not the bells. One, two, three, four. Can you jump up off the floor? Five, six, seven, eight. It is very hard to wait. Listen now and you will know. Should you stay or should you go? <gasps> pop! It's the bells. Did you pop? Good listening. That was kind of to help us remember our music study. We did our music study right before our pet study, didn't we? Good job. Today, when you were in your box, did you imagine that you had a box all around you like a jack-in-the-box? Did you have walls on this side and walls in front of you and behind you and a lid up top and you were in your little box? Yeah, just like a jack-in-the-box. Sometimes, some people, they feel safe inside their little box. Some people, that makes them nervous to be in a little box, doesn't it? Being in a little box reminded me of a friend that we have. See if you remember my friend. He likes to be in really little tight places. It makes him feel safe. Do you remember my friend, Tucker? Hi, Tucker. Boys and girls, do you remember Tucker? He's our special friend who helps us learn how to calm down. That's right. What does Tucker do when he feels kind of nervous and scared? Or maybe he's feeling mad. What does Tucker do? Good job. He tucks inside his shell, doesn't he? Because Tucker feels safe when he's inside his shell, just like inside a box. He's all covered up, nobody can see him, and he feels safe. Okay, can you come out now, Tucker? That's right. We were just showing the boys and girls you hiding in your shell, weren't we? You're not really hiding in your shell. That was kind of silly, I know. All right, so Tucker, today we want to help other animals who might feel safe when they have a calm down spot. So we need to think of some ways. Tucker has a shell. He doesn't need a special calm down spot, does he? Because he already has a shell. But some of my animal friends, they don't have a shell to go in. So we could make them a calm down spot. How could we make an animal a calm down spot? Hmm. Do you have any ideas of how we could make a calm down spot for an animal? We're gonna do it with a pretend animal today, okay? Just a pretend animal. So I brought one of my stuffed animals. This is one of my favorites, it's so cute because she's so soft and she has a baby doggy in her. She's carrying it because that's how mommy doggies carry their baby doggies. They kind of carry them with their mouth, don't they? So this mommy doggy has a baby doggy and she needs a calm down spot. So we're gonna make her a calm down spot. So I looked all around my office to see what I had to make for a calm down spot for my puppy. And this is what I found. Are you ready to see? I found a special basket that I thought my dog might like for a calm down spot. Do you like that for a calm down spot? <gasps> she doesn't like that. Hmm, what could I put inside of my basket to make my dog like this calm down spot better? What do you think it needs? It kind of feels hard. Hmm, how could I make this calm down spot softer for my dog? Do you have something soft in your calm down area? Yeah, that doesn't feel very good to sit somewhere hard when you're calming down. So what could I get? 
Somebody said a blanket, and you're right, I have a blanket. A pillow would work, but I don't have a pillow in my office. But I could put a blanket in my calm down spot for my dog. I'm gonna make it all nice and soft. That looks much softer, doesn't it? Is that a better calm down spot? Oh yes, woof woof, my puppy says that is a much better calm down spot. Now she and her baby can have a nice spot. What else could I put in this calm down spot for my puppy? You have another idea? I made something that I know my dogs, my real dogs like. What is this that I made? Yeah, a bone. Dogs like bones. So I made a bone and I thought I would put that in her calm down spot too. That is a cozy calm down spot for my dogs. They have a blanket and they have a bone and they can lay down and be cozy in their calm down spot. Look how calm they are now. Another way that I could make a calm down spot is with blocks. So I wanna show you some other calm down spots that I made for my pretend pets. What did I use for this calm down spot? I made a calm down spot for my fish, my pretend fish. Yeah, I used Legos or Duplos to make a calm down spot for that fish. He's got some walls so he feels safe. Maybe I wanna keep building and I wanna build a top for him because we need his water to stay in, don't we? Because he's a fish. So he got a calm down spot. And look, I have a pet dinosaur. Is that a silly pet? Yeah, a dinosaur would be a funny pet. What did I use to make that pet's calm down area? Yeah, I made him some blocks. And I could put more things in my calm down areas, couldn't I? Maybe I wanna put some plants for my fishy. Maybe I wanna put some food for my dinosaur. Or I could give him toys to play with. Those would all be good things. Maybe I need to put on some quiet music for them in their calm down spots. That would be a good idea too. So today for your homework, I want you to imagine what kind of a calm down spot you could make for a pet. And you could use a stuffed animal pet, or maybe you could draw a picture of a pet or a toy that you could pretend is your pet or you could just use your imagination and imagine a pet if you don't have a stuffed animal to make your pet. But I want you to think of all the things you like in your calm down area, and then you can help your pet to calm down too, because sometimes pets need to calm down. My dogs get kind of scared sometimes when it storms outside, and I have to help my pet calm down. And you might have to pet your pet, you might have to sing to your pet, you might have to talk to your pet and say, it's gonna be okay and help your pet to calm down. Make sure you show your pet that you love your pet. And those are all great ways to show your pet how to calm down. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have lots of fun doing your assignment today and playing with your pretend pets. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye everybody.